Okay, so this is actually my first LN2 amount that I got after my summer holiday in Indonesia, in Bali. And now I will be testing some old CPUs once again. For starters, I will do some newer platforms as well later. But uh, anyways, I found pretty okay Core i7-960. So I will start with that one. Then I have very strong uh, Xeon CPU, but it's very likely my motherboards the current ones aren't good enough for that CPU model, but the CPU itself is definitely strong. Then also I have pretty strong 980X, the uh, old batch that's supposedly good for the single threaded stuff, so I will try that one as well. But I'll start with the Core i7-960, uh, because this is the last Core i, or the Core series Bloomfield CPU that I still haven't run, or done the top scores with. And we also have, let's say, like the 970, but that's a Golf Town CPU anyway. So 960 is the last one. I think the target frequency is something like 5.5 to 5.6 for benches, and the highest validation is like 5.8. So the validation is definitely hard, difficult that I mean, but we could have a chance, if the CPU scales all right, we could have a chance on uh, the actual benchmarks, which are the most important stuff for me anyways. So yeah, so based on all of the lessons I've had on this platform, we will run the Rampage 3 Extreme. Not the Black Edition, we will run the Extreme. And even though my Black Edition is better for base clock, we don't really need it with the 960 because we have a multiplier of 25 a hand. T-Rex container, the pink thermal paste from Thermal Grizzly. I will start with all of the three memory sticks populated, so Corsair Dominator GDX2 as always, NVIDIA 6500GT for the monitor, signal with capture card as always, and C Sonic Prime 1300W Platinum. So yeah, so Windows XP only, as we cannot use Server 2003 on X58, effectively, I mean. So let's see what happens. Okay. CPU seems somewhat okay, but it's definitely, it doesn't seem to be good enough. Minus 130 on the CPU at the moment, close to 5.4. We are still like 100 megahertz away. The first 960 I tried was absolutely horrible. It couldn't do even 5.1, it was absolute trash. Yeah, it's, this seems to be crashing. It's definitely not good enough. Okay, that's the first top score with the Core i7-960, pretty tough one. And this is actually a CPU I've been having or holding in my uh, wares for a very long time. So funny, I actually had the top CPU right next to me for so long time, maybe two years, even three years, I don't know. Long time anyways, let's try to get the screenshot. It was 222.7. Of course, the CPU Z bucks, but anyway, so 4.2 A1 in W Prime 32 uh, at uh, maybe 5.5 something, I think. And the previous top score was 4.296 by some American guy, made very long time ago. No idea how long ago, but very long time ago anyways. I could try to squeeze a bit more. Just very simple MEMS. Uh, very simple encore and everything. So we could try a bit more.
the CPU does somewhere close to 4.5 on ambient cooling. It's best 960 I've had this far. Maybe cold bug. No. But yeah, this is not so straightforward what I really hoped this would be. Next one will be 1024M. My efficiency is not the best, but it's somewhat okay. Okay, that's some kind of cold bug, which usually happens. But okay, finally, really had to fine tune this CPU, but we managed to break the W Prime 1024M with the Core i7 960 at almost 5.5 gigahertz, 4, 5478 at 137.874, previous top score by the American guy at 138.218. My previous one was, like, was only like 16 milliseconds behind him, and these top scores were made in 2010, so this is very intense. I'm absolutely happy I managed to do this. This CPU is super picky on the V-Core. I had to fine tune it very carefully. We managed to get it. Damn awesome. Okay, that's the new top score in PyFast, pretty tough, 115.22, the previous top score by the American guy at 15.25. My uh, Ford, I had some Encore issues, but I can run a bit higher Encore, so I'm working on it. 5567, 5, 6.8 on the CPU, only 4454 on the Encore. Memory is at close to 19, or 1800, 675, common rate 1. And okay, that's pretty much the end with the Core i7-960. The CPU is definitely okay, but it's not good enough to take down the Superbuy 1M and 32M. I tested both Rampage Free Extreme as well as the Rampage Free Black Edition, and I can tell the Rampage Free Extreme is better. I can run colder temperatures with this board, and overall this seems more stable. But anyways, I managed to take down the W Prime 32, which was like 4.2 a1 and the previous top score was like 4.296 by some american guy made in 2010 14 years ago or so 1024m i got almost a half a second improvement like 137.8 something and the previous top score i think it was 138.218 something like this so almost like a half a second improvement PyFast was my last one, or well not last one, the second last one, which was 15.22. Previous top score was 15.25, again by that same American guy. And to my surprise, I managed to take down the validation, which was 5.82. So for some reason I managed to take down the validation, but I cannot make the CPU stable enough in 32M, 1M, etc. The max for 32M is somewhere around 5.5 GHz and the top 
score is made by Dinos22 from Australia at 5.68. So that's definitely out of reach. So uh, I have to find a bit better CPU, but overall this went somewhat okay. 1M I actually didn't save and 32M I didn't even bother finishing because we are only looking for the rank 1 scores as always. But 1M is like 7.14 and I think I got like 7.2 to 7.3 something like this. I did see it but yeah, cannot get the rank 1 score. But anyway, so 4 out of 6, so definitely okay enough. I learned, I learned new things once again about this board and these boards overall. And I know what to look for when it comes to ambient binning for 960 as well. So we just have to keep looking. But anyway, so these are pretty much my results for the Core i7 960. Over 5.8 gigahertz, definitely an okay session overall, although I wasted too much LN2 just on this CPU model. But anyways, that's the thing, or well, that's life in general, especially about extreme overclocking and going for the top scores. So. Uh, Thanks for watching some of my legacy overclocking content once again. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, maybe check out my Patreon page as well if uh, you want to support my work and if you want to contact me personally via Discord for example. But yeah, other than that, thanks for watching some of my videos once again and I will see you on the next one.